I am certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. Isn't that it redundant? seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy damp in F field surrounding Hello. the area that is draining Voyager systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. Like the Tarkanus gravity well, 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle. You know, back on Earth. Perhaps. Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> While your superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up, then report to transporter room one. Dismissed. All right, so here's another part of this that's really cool. It's just getting to uh, wander around, Voyager. Uh, you get the same opportunity in EF2, and it's a bit cooler because it's the Enterprise E. Man, data gathering? I was hoping for some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Uh, sound. Uh, video. Screen default cinematic quality and astrophic filtering uh, text English subtitles on uh, oh yeah you can change your uh, crosshair as well Austin. Alex. I wonder how long those scavengers have been here. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. So he, he is a red shoulder, red shirt, red shirt guy. Gerard J. So, Jarrod's Locker, it isn't here, but at the very beginning of EF2, you will be able to, if you're quick, you can snag the iMod. It's about the only time you can get it in the game. Section 12. Hazop's Lounge. Oh, yeah. That's a transporter room. Uh, main corridors. Uh, 
Okay. Hazop's Lounge. Well, I gotta head out. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm getting left behind on our first mission. And an intelligence gathering mission, too. Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, Monroe. Good luck. I'm sure everything will go fine. Liz. Hi. How do you do? Ken. Hey, hey, Monroe. What's up? Ms. Durant, while we have some extra time, I thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I am well prepared. I did go through extensive training and testing for this position. Of course. Well, let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre-mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. Doctor. Seriously, Ensign. I'm beginning to think you're a hypochondriac. I'm literally at 80 health, dude. Excuse me. Yeah? Jeff. Hey. Oh, sweet. What the fuck? Beastman? Get out of my head! This is the armory. So basically this is where you just stock up on weapons and ammo from all the stuff you've picked up. He doesn't really give you anything new. No, no, no. He does give you a few new things. Um, but most of the stuff you get in this game is stuff you pick up. They used a lithium crystal chips for a power source. Most ships use those crystals so you should be able to find more to power the gun. The second trigger on it fires the energy. Be careful with those. If you want, you can test out your weapons in the holodeck. Okay, so here's a cool thing that you can do. Basically, uh, this game had, you know, it's a Quake 3 engine game, so you had your deathmatch shit. I go with the scavenger rifle. Initiating program. High noon. So, they came up with a lot of creative yeah. deathmatch maps for this. And it's a bit like yeah. fucking Time Splitters. Yeah. You remember yeah. Time Splitters? You remember yeah. that game? I'm not alone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think there's a medieval one as well. health in here. Alright, who's left? I'll use the... I'll use the I should have used the hand phaser, you know. If we're being... If we're, if we're fighting honorably, I should have used the hand face. Ow! Fuck you! Excellent. Cowboy dicks. I gonna replenish my, my uh, weapon energy, dude. Oviedo, 
Can you take a rain check? Can you replenish my weapon energy, dude, Mr. Armory Officer? Okay. I wonder if I can replenish that in here somewhere. Hero? Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Foster to Monroe. Report to the transporter room now. Energize. Can I, uh, can I get, uh, get a snack? No. No, I can. All set, Alex. Okay, ready to transport team two. Energize. Let's see if any of these consoles are working. Look at this. I've never seen such a ship. It's almost like it's alive. I think I found the data terminal. Just give me a minute to start the download. It's hot in here. Humid. I kind of like it. You would. You're a bolian. I wonder what those are. They look like fireflies. Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started the download. Chell found one here, too. He's accessing it now. What did you do? What are these things? What, what, what's going on over there? Just start downloading. Okay, I've got it. Starting download. Yes, sir. They just stopped attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminal. Let's get out of here. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in Section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. Come on, Telsia. Telsia? Telsia. Alex, what? Come on. Those things. Hmm. They seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter. This game's terminal. really fond of that prefix. Stick ISO in front of it. Got one. She just straight up like rifle butted that thing. That's nice. Why don't I have a melee? Okay. 
freaky fucking things. Shit. Huh? Okay. Huh? Don't know what that's about. I know that you get a weapon on this level. Watch it. That's the way to section twenty nine. Switch the compression rifle. Oh shit! How many are there? Too damn many! Freaky things. Easy. Locked. Where's the control panel? This is usually where it goes horribly wrong. Hey! You know, I didn't even know this was a ladder. I just started, like, I just jumped on it out of... Ow! Oh, my owie. I just jumped on it out of pure instinct. Ow, go up further. Ugh. It's open. Sorry, sorry. Well, they know we're here now. I almost called you Brex. That's not nice. You're Chell. Brex is someone else. That sounds like a board transporter and it freaks me out every time. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go. Switch to the scavenger rifle. It's pretty good at dealing with these guys. At least until I get the actual weapon in this in this episode. <laughs> in this episode listen to me the actual weapon in this mission there's like a like a like a electric finger thing i don't know i don't know what the hell it is but it's cool and it hurts uh what's this can't do crap all right Ah, oh, oh, fuck! 
Get away from me! Okay. Okay. I tried making peace with them. It did not work. Let's go! Wait for me! The fuck? Did you just shove Telsia off the fucking thing? God damn it! Chell's a dick! Shell, are you sure this is the right place? Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boop! Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Shell! I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. Look, Monroe, we've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there are three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core, through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Good luck, Monroe. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, Chell! Behind you! Low rent Todd Marshall from Wing Commander. Here it is. What is that? Some kind of alien device. A weapon, maybe. <laughs> oh, shit! Get off me! Okay, so this thing uses dilithium chips, too. Well, let's restock on ammo. Uh, I don't know what those are, but I hope they're happy. Okay, that's not having it. Can I see my house from here? Uh, um, it would have to be really fucking close. I can't see Voyager from here, but this thing has to be like within spitting distance of Voyager for the transporter to work. I mean, relatively speaking, we are talking about like like measurements in space. I've got point. Uh, Watch it. No, I do. I have the, the, the gun thing.
place is gurgly and I don't like it. So this is basically a shotgun is what you're talking about. Yeah, I should save that secondary fire. Times like that. Gimme. Okay, I'm good on health. I have no idea where the hell I'm going. What the fuck? Ah, fuck! Okay, so the, these two things share a power source. How the hell do I get up there? It's another one of those transporters, but it looks like it's deactivated. Okay, so I guess that's what those was the other way. Those might be up there. to do huh. damn these guys got great cardio looks like another of those transporters over there all right let's go No. What happened? She just disappeared. Some kind of energy field. From that pod. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. We'd better get a move on, or we might be next. Gimme. Is it F5 or F F6? I think it's F6. Uh, it's F6. F6. Yep. Wait for me! Wait! That transporter down there is working now. I'm not talking very much, but I'm just digging the atmosphere of this place. That's it. The computer core. This sort of thing is something you do not see. Um, that's something that you really can't realize in live action. Um, control panel. Uh, and it was something, and, and that's something that these games really excel at. There was also a uh, gener game based on Star Trek Generations. It was kind of a boomer shooter, <laughs> uh, but it, it was, I think, God, I, I forget what engine it was running on. 
but but it's a really old style uh, first person shooter. But it was pretty good, and uh, it also like realized these environment the kinds of environments they could never have done on the show really well. And another game that did that was uh, Star Trek: A Final Unity, uh, which was another game that just gave you next generation, but it gave you a version of Star Trek The Next Generation that existed in this incredibly colorful, wild, alien-looking universe that was really fucking cool. And this is the sort of thing... This is one of the reasons why, say, for example, uh, Discovery is such a missed opportunity. Like, Discovery and Picard. Because when, when you get down to it, how much new things do you see from either of those shows? You just don't. You, like, like, you, you don't. They're, they're, you just basically see, like, rep like they, they basically spend all their time replacing stuff that wasn't broken with the, uh, with the visual reboot and whatnot and, and the bad writing, let's be honest. But they don't... They never use their budgets for anything like this. For, like, crazy, alien, completely outside of your context environments uh, that the uh, characters get to explore. You just don't see this shit. It's always some dank Starfleet installation or some dank Klingon. Like, when you get down to it, like, when you get right down to it, yeah, they have a higher budget, but that doesn't mean much when they don't do anything. When they do less with that higher budget than the old shows did. Because, you know, they at least tried to show you, like, really weird, exotic, uh, alien, lo like, like, alien feeling locations in the older shows. Now, your mileage may vary nowadays as to whether or not, you know, your uh, suspension of disbelief can let you buy the let you buy it. I think the effects have aged really well from the uh, TNG era shows. Um, but again, like I said, your miles may vary on that, but at least they tried to do it. At least they tried to give you something new, something different, something alien, something that neither you nor the characters had ever seen before. You know, whether it was the, the the Great Link on Empersa or like the like any number any number of crazy alien worlds that Voyager explored. And there's a, there was a ton of cool shit from like uh, TNG as well. Like a ton of a ton of really cool alien planets. Granted a lot of that was matte paintings, but still they did more with less money then Discovery manages to do with, like, the kind of budgets that Marvel would salv salivate over. The kind of irresponsible budgets that, like, even MCU movies don't have. Um, like, like, per season. And it's just, come on! This is what you should be doing! And this is something that the games, at least the older games, and Star Trek Online does this pretty good as well. Giving credit where it's due, even though their, their latest, the Klingon War storyline is shit. Uh, but Star Trek Online is also really fucking good about giving you crazy alien worlds to explore that are really interesting and really, it's just really visually dynamic and different from anything you've seen. It's one of the things that just gets on my nerves about new Star Trek. Is... It's just... I've seen all of this. And I've seen it all done better. And you're not doing anything new. And you're not showing me anything like this. Like, what is the point of you? Anyways, getting back on with the mission. Sorry about that. I just I just had to rant a little bit there. Hey, is that the starship graveyard we're caught in? What's that in the middle? 
uh, the Star Forge. Hmm, a planet. I wonder if that's their home. What's that? It's huge. Looks like a space station. I wonder if that thing's responsible for trapping all these ships here. That must be this ship. Also, this thing looks like the Red Sun. And that puts me on edge. Because the Red Sun was no bueno. And I don't have a grappling hook this time. Hmm. I can't shut down the core from here. The main controls are on that upper level. But I think I found the security sequence for that door. Hold on. Got it. Uh? Ah, fuck! I'm in the order. Evil space monkeys, be gone! Gabe's real generous with health and weapon energy. You know what this place reminds me of? The Ruins from Fantasy Star Online. It's got this same, like, biomechanical aesthetic as the Ruins from that game. I'm gonna go ahead and get that other crystal. Anything that reminds me of the original Fantasy Star Online is already ahead in my book. You want to talk about... I was just talking about doing more with less. Fe the original Fantasy Star Online is a case study in how to do that. It was a MMO for the Dreamcast, and they had very limited assets, very few maps, and they made it fucking work. And then they made a fucking card battle expansion, and nobody played it because what? <laughs> nobody wanted this. Nobody asked for it. But then they made Blue Burst, and it was okay again. It's like, we won't hold Card Revolution against them, because they made Blue Burst right after. Yellow. There must be one of those pod things in here somewhere that's powering that energy field. Fuck you. In before sudden monkey swarm. Uh, okay. It sounds like a board transporter, okay? It weirds me out. I'm ready for shore leave. I have a laser shotgun. You cannot stop me. All right. Okay, this is it. Those consoles shut down the computer core. I'll work on getting this access door open. Okay. 
Starfish is dead. Monroe to Foster. We've shut down the main computer core. Good. We just shut down the backup power systems. We're on our way to the main power core. Right. Chell and I will meet you there. You and... Where's Telsia? She got melted. She... didn't make it. Understood. We'll be in the back of... Sir, sir, come in, sir. Foster. They, they must have gotten them. <laughs> Not so good for our very first away mission, huh? Keep it together, Chell. It's just you and me now, and Voyagers depending on us to get this information back to them. If we fail, everyone on that ship could end up dead. Now let's go shut down that power core and get out of here. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Who are you calling we'll sir? Make it, we have to. He's an ensign. Come on. Something does not sound best pleased with what I just did. Looks like no one's home. For a change. Oh yeah, big wide area. Order. <laughs> Great. <laughs> da -da -da -da. It's okay, I know what to do, Chell. I need to break shit. But what I'm gonna do with the phaser so I don't waste ammo. If only there were some of those fireflies in here to fix this thing. I was trying. Okay. Let it never be said that I did not try. Fucking chill. Fuck. What? Why would you? Motherfuck. So fucking Let it never be said that I did not attempt peaceful coexistence with these things, okay? Now I gotta go so fucking me now I gotta go get health again. Oh great. Now I'm at half health, Chell. Thanks a lot. I'm not reloading. I'm not gonna reload because of you. Ow. 
Oh, fuck you. This console will probably open that force field up there. Mm -mm. Hmm. The only way it's going to stay open is if one of us keeps it open from here. Yeah, you stay here. I guess that means me. Huh? Yes, Don't it does. Don't worry, Chell. We're almost out of here. Okay, but hurry. You stay here on the ship of screaming monkey aliens. I will go and rescue everybody and leave. Shooting that shit at me. All right, there we go. It's amazing how much more effective I am when I don't have to worry about shooting Chell. No 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 jump Alright F six See what you got. Monroe! I can do Thanks for the help, Monroe. Where's Joe? He had to stay behind. But he's okay. What happened to your team? I thought you were all killed. Those alien things overwhelmed us, but I managed to get away. Now we've got to move on if we're going to salvage this mission at all. Is there anything, any goodies? Is there any goodies? Nope. Gimme. Oh shit! Monkeys! Flying monkeys! Hey, Monroe! Hurry up! I thought I heard something down here. Watch out! Is this place? Looks like some kind of stasis pods. <gasps> the aliens must have a hibernation system, or it's like a <gasps> Malon, I think. We got a, a couple Malon. <laughs> Can't let them out. Okay, that's Chang. What the? Beastman. Telsia. And Telsia. And Beesman. They're all here. They're breathing. They must still be alive. Maybe they're being kept for food. We've got to get them out of there. That's pretty right. dark, dude. We just have to shut down the power core. Then we can beam them all out of here. Maybe the doctor can do something for them if it's not too late. Come on. Big room is big. This is it. The power core. We've got to get up there and shut it off. Quick save. Oh, that was what they are.
Do not stop power. My people in stasis will die. Just a minute. You're the ones who trapped us on your ship and attacked us. You invade us. Believed you were the others. Tried to contact you. Communication methods very different. You attack us. They were trying to communicate? We capture your people. Analyze them. Learn your language. We are Ethereans. Have been trapped here. 25 of your soul standard years. Crew very large. Colony ship. Our people in stasis stay alive. A colony ship? Must be a sleeper ship for long voyages. Yes, long journey. New home. Never will see it now, we fear. The forge has us. No escape. He does the he's doing the Yev the Yevan We're thing. Sorry for the misunderstanding. For killing some of your people. We were only acting in self-defense. Kill? Have not killed. When injured, our people returned to stasis. Regenerated. Your people too, not killed, in stasis. Analyzed. Those pods. On behalf of my people, I apologize. We thought the vessel was abandoned. We only wanted information from your computer. We're trying to find our way out of here. Our knowledge is yours. Request and receive. We are allies. We will lower defenses. You may return to your vessel. We'll find a way out of here. We'll get to your new home. Foster to Voyager. Lieutenant, it's good to hear your voice. What happened over there? I'll explain when we get back. Let's just say we've made an ally. But we have injuries. We need to beam directly to sickbay. Stand by. Sickbay has the wounded. We're ready to beam you back now. Acknowledged. I'm pretty Foster wounded out. too. Yes, peace be to Yevon.